geography topic, we're going to start thinking about maps. And today we're going to find features on our maps. To do this, we're going to use a tool called Digimaps. You might have used it before, you might not. Don't worry. The first thing you'll need to do is log on to the school's virtual classroom and find this document. At the bottom, you'll find a link to the Digimap tool. You'll need to enter the username and password that are also shown at the bottom of the document. Then, we're going to use this tool to find these features listed at the side. Once you've typed in the username and password for Oxclaws Primary School, just click Login. You'll see a page that looks like this. At the top, you can see a search bar. In the search bar, type in Spennymoor, just like I have. Click on the magnifying glass to tell the program to search. It might give you some options. You want Spennymoor in Durham, so click on that. Well done! You've now found a map of Spennymoor in Durham all by yourself. I don't know about you though, but I find it a bit tricky to see all the features. Maybe we should zoom in. Click on the plus arrow here and it will give you a little bit more of a closer look at Spennymoor. Keep clicking until you've zoomed right in and can see all of the features just like my map. Try not to go too close though. You need to have enough of the map on your screen so that you can see all the features we're looking for. Now we can use the key to help us find our features. Remember, one of the things we are looking for is a road. So I'm going to click on the key and then it will give me some different options for things we might like to find. If I want to find a road, I might click on roads and then Digimaps will show me what the symbols are for roads on the maps. I can use this to help me spot roads on the maps. Can you spot any roads on our map of Spennymoor? You're right, there are loads of roads on the map of Spennymoor. Here are just a few. But how do I label them? Just above the key symbol of the far left hand side, you will see a little pencil. This is the symbol for our drawing tools. When you click on this, you get lots of options. You could select text box in the first section and then an option in the second box. I have chosen the balloon, but you could click any option that you like. Then all you need to do is click on your map to show me where the road is. And if you select a text box, type in the word road. You could repeat this for all of the other features on the list. Here I've had a go at finding a house. Can you spot my label of a house? Well done. That's not the only house on the map though, is it? I bet you could find many more. Have fun finding your features and labelling them.